my adventurers. I, <clears throat> today's video <laughs> is gonna be about a sleigh glam bag unboxing. Um, I'm also gonna show you a few things that I got um, from the Boxy add-on store, from BoxyCharm. But I have done this makeup in hopes that um, my tracking is correct and my Jeffree Star mystery Halloween boxes are supposed to be here by eight o'clock tonight. It is like five. No, no sign of the boxes yet, but I've been so excited about it. So if you can see, I made little, little bats and moons on my eye look today. I'm super excited. I really hope that that comes soon. So I did wanna say, I'm inspired by Allie Dawson. Um, if you have not seen her, you should check out her channel. She's so, so fun. Um, and she's been like attacked about using Jeffree Star uh, makeup and having Jeffree Star um, like unboxings and her uh, reviewing his makeup on her channel. And what she said I thought was really important that this cancel culture has us thinking that because we don't like one person that all the workers and manufacturers and the people that work on development and all those things with Jeffree Star, we're condemning all of them um, because of what he did a long, long time ago. Um, and you know, who knows? I don't know him in person. Um, I, I'd, I'd love to meet him, but um, we have to remember that also, and this is something else that you said, that we've all made so many mistakes in life. And if we were all judged by our past, would we be okay um, with everybody knowing everything that we've ever done and having it put on blast on the internet? Probably not. So I just wanted to say, you know, that I enjoy Jeffree Star makeup as well. Um, there is a video of me previously on this channel where I was completely shocked by the um, behavior of Shane Dawson. And at that time, I had just bought the mini conspiracy, but hold on a second, sorry. <laughs> but I also have, I think that's a better angle, isn't it? I think I should keep it like this. This box needed to come out. It was telling me it did. Um, it's a little dusty, sorry. But um, I had just bought the mini conspiracy um, with the put it back shade. Um, but at that time, I had just bought that little tiny palette and I was so excited for it. And then all this Shane Dawson stuff started to come out and I was horrified because I really do not like all the content that I've seen that was previously on Shane Dawson's channel. But here's the thing. Again, um, we have to remember that people are capable of change and that not everything is as it appears. So um, we don't know really what happened with um, any of these things. Um, or the surrounding circumstances or anything like that. Um, I do not defend or condone any of their bad behavior, but the makeup is still something that I get excited about. I like colorful things. I like palettes that um, are different and they speak to me. Uh, I'm, I don't know why I just showed you guys that. I'm sure that you, um, I'm sure that you have seen it before. If you have um, this conspiracy palette, you have this green right here. And I just want to say it's very, very close to the green that is in the new ColourPop, um, the Child palette. 
it's very, very close. I actually was kind of motivated to buy that palette a lot because of that shade. And I just looked down and was like, oh my gosh, that's like almost the same shade. I already had it, but I hadn't been paying attention <laughs> because you know, allegedly conspiracy, um, there's a lot of stuff going on uh, with that. So um, the makeup itself though is good makeup and I like it. And so I'm going to probably have his things on my channel. You know, if I change my mind at some point, that's what human beings do. We change our minds sometimes. Um, but at this current time, I am still a fan of Jeffrey Star. I am still a fan of Jeffrey Star. Not, not um, his actions from 10 years ago. Um, not all the drama that he seems to get into. You know, if you don't like that, that's cool. Um, we can still be friends because, like, <laughs> I don't always have Jeffree Star stuff. So, anyway, I still am super excited about these boxes. So, I have a mini and a uh, deluxe. I think he named the big one the deluxe. So, I have the big one and the really small one. So, the really small one is for my daughter. And she's going to unbox it with me because it's just three lippies. So, I'm excited because she likes to play with lips at this point. She's 11. She actually is really good at all kinds of different makeup. But this would be something she could actually, like you know, put on and wear to school maybe, like especially the gloss. So she got, um, she was on the honor roll. She got all A's and like two B's. She's got all A's to, and two B's. So to me, it's all A's. So I wanted to reward that and that's how I chose to do that this go round. So <clears throat> I get the big box and she gets the small box. So I'm super, super stoked about the big box. It's just that I'm like super nervous because, and let me show you, and let me show you why. Because I have this guy already and I don't really use this much. I guess I should because it's a gorgeous palette, but I'm so busy with all these other ones all the time. It seems like I have a new palette every minute and that's kind of the that's kind of the business of of a beauty reviewer or a beauty channel which i hope to grow my audience and um and be a you know i'd like to have a decent following i'd like to have all all kinds of people adventuring with me so let's get to the slay glam bag for october it was super, super late as usual, but I've kind of gotten used to that. So, allow me to show, crap, I'm dropping things all over the place. So allow me to show you, oh, we're only at 10 minutes, we're doing okay, because this is, this should be short. So, I have, that was part of it, and this was part of it. There was another product. This Wet n Wild is not part of it. <laughs> okay, so um, these are the products. We're gonna go through them. There are five products each time, each month, and it is, they ring it up as $19.99, and then shipping on top of that. So it comes out to be like $23 with shipping. And that's not bad because you usually get um, some pretty good things. So we're going to start with this guy. This is Sorme Treatment Cosmetics um, Metallics Pearl, Pearlized Lip and Eyeliner. Lip and eyeliner? I'm excited. What what you be, as, as Miss uh, Just Ann would say, what you be. Let's see. Oh, that's so pretty. 
I'm just the kind of person for this, honestly. And around the holidays, especially, I can totally see me getting some use out of this. And in the waterline, that would be gorgeous. Yes, 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 we really like you. I'm excited to have this guy. Um, next up, we've got something. Oh, let's, let's see the brush next. Now, this was in a bag. I just took it out of the bag. But this is from Kaylin Cosmetics. And this is a gorgeous brush. It has this little thing down here. And I twisted it just to see maybe if it was like some gadgety thing. But it's not. So that's just the design of the brush. And so it says it's a flat blending brush. Um, the number five icon. I don't know it. I don't know what that means, but it's a lovely blender brush. It's heavy. It feels really nice um, and luxe, actually. So I'm I'm pretty excited to have the new brush as well. Um, speaking of Kaylin, we have two other products from Kaylin. And I've never heard of Kaylin Cosmetics. I don't know if you have. Have you heard of Kaylin Cosmetics? Because I haven't. Okay, so the next thing we have is this little pot, and it says it is the Carnival Glitter. Also, is it just like, it's just straight up glitter. Now, this is appropriate for the season, though, because look, they gave us orange glitter. So that's exciting. If I need orange glitter, um, for anything tomorrow. I don't think I do. My son is going to be a wolf and my daughter is going to be Alice. <laughs> my mom was like, don't you want to be Red Riding Hood? She was like, no, I don't have to match with my brother. <laughs> it was funny. So anyway, um, glitter, orange glitter. It's actually like um, a gold orange it's like an orangey gold so that's cool i will probably use that um more for like super decorative stuff because i want to show you guys um a new level of my artistry i want to go in and do um some some really cool uh, effects makeup like editorial pieces I would like to have some more time to do that you know with my job and my kids and um, my illness I am so proud of myself for making all of these videos um, it's not an easy th I keep saying um I wonder how many times I say um I don't think we should count please don't count because Mm. <laughs> I use it way too much. Okay, so next up from Kaylin is this gorgeous purple metallic. And it just says it's the number seven Star Wave metallic tint. Now, is this for eyes or for lips? It does not say. We're going to try it on the lips because it looks like a lip gloss. I mean, it could also be like a, a eyeshadow, but let's just check it out. See what's going on. Check this guy out. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love this. See, I would wear this in the uh, in the winter time with a nice like silvery eye. But a lot of people don't like metallic tint on their lips. I absolutely love metallic tint on my lips. Now, dried down super fast. 
it's got just a tiny tad of transfer. So that's interesting. I really like that. And I do love um, the lip liner, the brush, um, the glitter. I'll get use out of the glitter at some point. So next is this gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Now this is from Moira. And this is the Glow and Gleam Shadow Palette. Um, let's see. 0 0.035 ounces, one gram. Look at how pretty this butterfly is too. It's got all these leaves coming out of the butterfly wings. I don't know. Look at how pretty. Wow. <gasps> Oh my gosh. What? What? You are going to see me use this. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. I really want to make a look with this now, but <clears throat> I'm waiting for my mystery box to come. See, look. My, uh, I did my nails. Well, I didn't do them. I had them done. <laughs> that duochrome shift where it shifts like the green, gold, pink, all of that. I love that for Halloween. Like, you know. Okay, so I absolutely, let's watch this palette. And then you're going to see right after a look that I've made out of this. I don't know if I'll do... I might do a tutorial with it. I don't know. Let's just figure it out together. That's what, you know, we're adventuring together. And that's what we do. That's what we do here. We adventure. Stellar. Look. Would you look at these swatches? Holy crap. Okay. I'm in love with this already. I have to play with this. I feel like... It's one of the uh, boxes that I kept. I canceled Allure because, ugh, what a pain in the ass. Um, they went up with their price and down with what they're giving us. Like, no, thank you. Um, <laughs> and so then we have BoxyCharm and Ipsy. And those I'm going to keep. And those are, um, apparently one bought the other, like Ipsy acquired BoxyCharm, which just is insane to me because what's going to happen? Are we going to have a uh, box Ipsy? <sighs> um, yeah, I don't like that. That's going to suck. But this Slay Glam bag did not suck. And I gotta tell you, I'm super stoked to use this palette. It's heavy, it's good quality, it feels good. I've never heard of Moira, but Moira Cosmetics, check them out because this is amazing. This Glow and Gleam palette, um, sh you know, go and find that if you could. This, uh, I don't know if you're into metallic purple lips, but metallic lips at all, I love it. This is by Kaylin and it's Star Wave. And then we got the brush by Kaylin. We got this uh, metallic Sorme liner and we got the glitter. So for $23, we did amazing. So I'm a big fan of, <clears throat> so a lot of people are like, I can't afford really nice makeup. Okay, so get yourself a subscription to one of these things and use it for one month and spend that $20, $25 and cancel so you can have a really nice makeup thing because a lot of people can't afford these products and it sucks. So getting to experience them through these um, programs is really nice. So just, just something to think about. Not that I think that you should cancel because it's nice to keep a subscription like that. And $23 a month isn't that much if you love makeup. So 
I put another coat on because, you know, 